Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. Or Lovesick. Or Yandere Simulator. Or what the fuck. You guys might be wondering why I'm on this screen right now, and you guys also might be wondering why there's panties on a heart. But there are a lot of new updates in this build, and we are gonna get through them right now. But there is also a new mode called Lovesick. It says no debug commands, no Easter eggs, no memes, dark atmosphere. So Yandere Dev implemented this for a more like serious and dark gameplay. So we're gonna check that out right now. And then after that, we are gonna check all the new updates that are in the regular Yandere Simulator. So let's dive into Lovesick and see what all this mumbo jumbo is all about. So right off the bat, we have blood all over the walls and in the school. You can faintly see Yandere Chan in the background. And this is actually some pretty fucked up stuff. So I'm just gonna resume the game and we are gonna see a more serious Yandere Simulator. Right off the bat, I don't think I like this mode very much. Only because it seems like there's little to no color. It's just black and white. It's basically just Yandere Simulator with low atmosphere. Wait, who is this girl right here with the glasses? Hold on. Let me see who this is. This is my Mio. She now has glasses. That's cool. They look very snazzy on you. Look I'm at talking this about dude. you, fuckboy. But yeah, guys, this is the lovesick mode. I don't like it. I want to switch back to the regular Yandere Simulator mode. I do like the name lovesick, though. I am feeling that. But I kind of hope that Yandere Simulator sticks in the title somewhere, like lovesick, Yandere Simulator. But enough of this low atmosphere. I can't see anything BS. I'm going to clap my hands together, and we're going to turn this dark into light right now. Ta -da. And the main thing that I want to try out is the new bug feature and you guys might be wondering bug feature What the fuck? I don't want to deal with no nasty bugs. No, not those kind of bugs You see this little thing right here that almost looks like a nipple that is a listening bug And what that basically means is instead of taking panty shots to give to Infochan She will also take information around the school So you can place bugs around places where people are having conversations and then once it's done I guess you can pick it up and then give it to Infochan. I have no idea how it's gonna work. Okay, so here here they are having a conversation. I'm just gonna fast forward time a little bit. And when they go to class, let me see if I can take the bug. No, I can't take the bug. I'm not trying to talk to you. Get the hell out of my face. I want to know how we can use this bug and get some money. You can actually place a bug right here, but I don't remember when the counselor has a conversation with anybody. What can I help you with? Well, actually, we can talk to her ourselves. Don't misbehave. But why would we want to plant a bug and snitch on ourselves? That is not the Yandere Chan way. Can we place a bug around these delinquents? Yes, we can. We can put a thing right here. Oh, God. You got to be in the exact spot right here. Bam. Like bug place. Delinquents, Beat. I'm snitching on all you bitches. You can also place a bug right here under the printer. Yeah, there's no way a teacher's ever gonna figure that one out. This is pretty cool. It's like a bug placing scavenger hunt. Would she want to know anything about the nurse? Let's see here. Where can we plant a bug in the nurse's office? I mean, if you can't place a bug, that would suck because wouldn't Infochan want to know about like people's sicknesses or like what disease they caught and why they're in the nurse's office so she can use it to blackmail them? There's got to be a place in the cooking club. Yep, right here under the table. I'm almost 1000% sure you can put one over here. Come on, you can put a bug somewhere in the occult club, right? You'd want to know what these occult club fucks are saying. They're probably talking shit. There you go. Bruh. Right under this guy's crotch. Right under his occult club nuts. We can't put a bug underneath the diving board. There's got to be a place around the pool you can put a bug. I know people gossip around the pool like when they're tanning or something. They're probably talking the most shit. Wait, I know a place. I know a place right here. There's got to be a place we can put a bug. Come on. Come on, give me something. Oh, wait, while we're on the subject of these people, you guys know in my last episode when I did myths and there was a myth about holding a lover's head and seeing if they would react? Well, check this shit out right here, guys. If I could pick up the circular saw, we are going to kill a good old Ryuji. His name's not Ryuji. I need to stop calling this motherfucker Ryuji. It's Ryuto. His name is Ryuto. I need to remember that. He seems like a Ryuji now, you know? But we're gonna hold his head. And we are gonna see what Pippi's new reaction is because they now react to you holding their lover's head. Oh my god, you won't get away with this! No! So there also seems to be something in the settings. If you open it and press R, it makes everybody look so extra. Look at that. Look at Yandere chan. She's so fucking fabulous. But there's gotta be a place where you can put a bug. There you go. For Kakona's conversation. I knew it. Okay. So we got the one on the roof, we got the one over here, we got the one at the delinquents, we have the one inside the counselor's office, the teacher's office, the cooking club, the occult club. Where else would people be having a conversation? Maybe inside the headmaster's office? Yes, okay, so headmaster's office also. There's gotta be a place inside of the library. Even though you're supposed to be quiet as fuck in the library, 
I'm pretty sure there's a spot you can place a bug. Huh, Kudere? Where's the spot at? Where's the good spot? Somebody tell me. There's no spot here? Can we put it inside this guy's green mullet hair? No? Okay, so I guess you can't do anything in the library. You would think Info-chan would want to know everything that's going inside of the student council room so she can keep up with, like, events. But... never mind. Last but not least, there has to be a place where we can put a bug somewhere in the courtyard. Oh, and also, Senpai says something new whenever you act weird around him. So let's see what he says. Can I... help you? That's what he says? Can I help you? Obviously, I'm so in love! I love you, Senpai! Is something... wrong? No! Say something else, Senpai. Tell me how much you love me. I'm... a little concerned. Alright, alright, let me fuck off, because I don't want a game over. I want to see how the bug placing stuff works. I don't think you can put a bug anywhere inside the courtyard, even though I think it would be the most logical place to put one. Because look at all these guys. They're having conversations up the ass! But anyway, we planted enough bugs. Let's talk to Info-chan, and let's see if we have any points. We have 80 points, Goddamn. so I guess when you plant the bugs, you get points already, and they count as your panty shot total, so you don't have to take panty shots. That actually works out way better. And I know somebody's already gonna ask me, they're gonna say, Jay, how many points do you get if you plant one listening device? Well, we're gonna figure that out right now. What let's see you? here. It costs five. But wait, what if we plant more? Because I got 80, and I know damn well we didn't plant 16 listening devices, right? Wait, let me do the math. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Yeah, 16 times 5 is 80, and I know we didn't plant that many bugs. So maybe it stacks up if we keep putting listening devices? Let me see here real quick. Let's place this bug right here, and let's see what how many I have now. I have 10. What? Oh, I get it. Okay, so I was planning bugs, then I restarted the day because I wanted to show you guys something else. And I think that when you move on to another day, the points are there, like in terms of the panty shots, but then you can place the bugs again and again, and then it stacks up over time. So if I plant these three bugs today, and then tomorrow I plant another three bugs, then I'll have a total of 30 points. That makes sense. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna check out in this episode is this big old bottle of bleach right here. This 2016 meme, we are gonna turn it into hopefully an elimination method. I like how anime the bucket looks right now. So let me just put this bad boy right here. And is it still sparkling? So we're gonna fast forward time a little bit and let's see what happens to Kakoni. Here she comes, guys. Did someone really just throw water on me? Why would someone do this? Oh man. I was hoping she would react to the bleach. Damn it. Okay, so she still just considers it water, even though bleach has a very distinct smell. Very nasty smell. Hey, look. My bucket's still nice and squeaky clean. Oh, and also, guys, this dick pimple Ryuto has some new information about him. So we're going to check it out right now. It says, swears to his parents that he spends all of his free time studying. And we know that that's clearly bullshit because Ryuto clearly spends all of his time getting that pussy. So we know that he's a gamer and he's a liar to his parents. Shame on you, Ryuto. Shame. Anyway, guys, we are here to see what else the bleach can do. Let me just try pouring the bleach on Kakona by myself, like instead of setting a trap. And let's see if she reacts differently to that. Here you go, Kakona! <laughs> Free bleach! Ugh, seriously? Be more careful. Sorry. Okay, never mind. She doesn't react to the bleach. Just a normal reaction. Okay, so we can't do anything with the bleach in terms of messing with Kakona. The intended use of the bleach is supposed to clean up the blood off the surface. So I'm gonna test that out right now. And I'm actually gonna see what happens if we mop up the blood now without the bleach. If it'll just smear or we can still clean up the blood. So let's do this. This is the old fashioned way. This is how we used to be able to do it. Oh wait, we can't even press anything. Okay, so we have to do it first. Add bleach first. Oh, so now we gotta do a two step process. I see you Yandere Dev, I see you. So let's pour it into this anime water. And now we can clean it, okay. I see. So without the bleach, we can't even mop up the blood. There's like no button for it. Okay, that makes sense. But there's one more thing I want to try with the bleach before we end today's episode. And it has to do with Kakona's bento. Oh, there he is. There he is? There who is? You talking to some ghosts? Let me try bleaching this. Oh, senpai. Uh, we can't even bleach the bento. You notice Fuck. how I feel about you. But she's talking to ghost senpai. Okay. I've made up my mind. I'll tell him how I feel this Friday. Tell him? Tell who? I hope he accepts my feelings. Who are you talking to? You talking to her? I bet you're talking to her. 
I knew it. But we can't poison Kakona's Bento. We can't do anything with the Bleach. Nobody even cares that I'm holding Bleach. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. Let me know your opinions on any of the new updates that you guys saw in this video. Do you guys like Lovesick? Do you guys just like the name Yandere Simulator? Would you like a fusion of both names like Lovesick Yandere Simulator or Yandere Simulator, a Lovesick story, something like that? But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video anyway. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too! <laughs>